Now, when we're first getting into creating um, our drawing here, the very first thing we're going to do and have the option to do is to drop in the first view. And by default, it looks like it's wanting to use the front view in this case. I can change that to whatever view type I want. I'm just going to move this so you guys can see it a little bit easier. But I can move this to, you know, a left view. I can move it to a top view, right view. I went to left twice in a row there. An isometric view if you want to, you know, get an idea of what this part looks like. So um, we're not stuck to using what the default is there. I'm going to actually go back to, you know, uh, the front view actually in this case uh, because I'm going to use that to then project off some other views and create some section views, etc. So with that defined, we get into also things like style. Um, so right now it's visible with hidden edges and I'm going to stick with that but I do want you to be aware there are also the ability to only show the visible edges the ability to show the views in the shaded mode with edges and without edges or with with hidden edges I should say but in this case I want to just stick with the default that it was in and then I can also get into scaling and so right now I I, it, I think it does a pretty good job of trying to select the right size to be able to fit multiple views into the sheet that we're working in uh, I do actually want to try to use like a one-to-one -one scale in this case. I do think I have enough, you know, room to work with this model in this this uh, B size sheet that I have here. So that looks pretty good. The other thing that we have the ability to drive with this dialog are tangent edge displays. You can turn them off. You can have them full length. You can show them shortened um, as well as, and I just collapse that down, as well as... Uh, interference edges it'll help you visualize where those interferences might be okay so let's just drop this view onto the sheet in an area that makes the most sense right here looks pretty good and i'm just going to click once to drop it and i can click ok and be done with that 